Hello everybody and welcome to our first NDS programming tutorial. Hope you guys, all you guys aspiring developers out there are ready for this because we are going to jump right into this. Um, this is NDS programming. Um, so obviously if you're into graphics or sound or that kind of stuff, this isn't going to be really much helpful as we are going to be setting up the dev kit today. First thing you're going to want to do is go to this devkitpro.org, hit the getting started right here, and you will see a bunch of different things. There's manual instructions for installing these, but we are just going to be clicking this Windows Installer Updater. It will actually take you to the installers for both Mac and Linux if you want them. You have to run this Perl script right here. However, do not ask me exactly what the steps are to do it because I do not have a Mac or Linux machine to actually show you guys. So, anyways, we're gonna hit this. You're gonna hit this download DevKit Perl updater if you're using a Windows machine, and that is gonna look something like this once it downloads. I'm just gonna double click this. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's complaining about. So anyways, drag this over here. It's going to ask if you make changes. You just hit yes. Then it's going to pull up this screen. I don't know why I keep showing that on, on the screen that you guys can't see. But anyways, you're going to hit next. It does not matter whether you keep the download files or remove them. It just, it's personal preference for you guys. So anyways, I'm going to hit next. Now, when you guys install for the first time, you guys are going to see six check mark boxes. Um, the two that I have up here that are not checked are the ones that you want to leave unchecked. The DevKit PPC, that is for GameCube and Wii, and PSP is obviously PSP. But we are not developing for either of those systems. We are developing for a dual processor, dual screen, dual cartridge slot device, the NDS. But the other four you want to make sure that are checked in. DevKit ARM is what the NDS uses, and the rest are just files that'll make things smoother. You might question the whole programmer's notepad thing. Trust me, it's just good to have because if there's any conflicts with IDEs when you're working on projects with other people, you at least have a baseline a baseline IDE that you guys can all go to for compatib compatibility reasons. Because I'm assuming you guys are going to be working in a group. If not, well, then you can disable it. It's your choice. I'll be showing you guys how to get this set up in code blocks. Do not worry. Although code blocks isn't always the most transferable as far as user layouts when working in a group. But it's up to you guys. So anyways, you guys are just going to hit next and just go through all the install process and it should be all ready to go. So I'm going to cancel that. So once that's all done, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to do a Google search. Don't ask me why I've got all those pages. I do a lot of game research, um, mostly on Coliseum. That's why all those tabs are there. You guys want to see that series? That's our behind the screen series, which at the time of making this tutorial should be up somewhat shortly within the next month or so. So, anyways, what we are going to be look searching here is called Night Fox Lib. Now, this is just a library that kind of abstracts the memory management of graphics. You guys can see. You can either go straight to the SourceForge, or you can actually go to the website, which will give you, you want to actually go to the English one right here, and it will give you the website that will show you, that will take you to what you guys, to basically this link that is right up here. So, and the page is going to be slow. So anyways, obviously you can just download it. Oh, I've never seen that picture before. That's new. Must be working on a new game. So anyways, you can just download that and ex and extract the file. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, with DevKit Pro, it might ask you for an install path. Um, make sure that there are no spaces in the install path name. Um, the default path it normally gives you, which is right on your 
C drive. Um, that always works, so if you don't mind that, go for it. Otherwise, just make sure there is no space in it. Otherwise, you will not be able to compile anything. As for where you put this Nightbox folder, doesn't really matter. You're just going to be copying stuff out of it and pasting it into your project. So that's not really a huge issue. Your projects also do not need a should not have a space in the file path, so keep that in mind as well. So anyways, once you abstract that and are ready to go, then everything is set. That's all I'm going to cover for this tutorial. I'll explain everything later. If you guys have questions or anything, um, feel free to leave the, any questions in the comments, um, and I will either answer in the comments or make a special video answering your guys' questions. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial video where I will actually show you how to set up your new NBS project. Thanks for watching, and until next time, guys, keep making games, people.